Yo, what's going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be doing Derby, my um, league expectations for Derby County for this next half of the season and beyond, and what I think Philip Kalku could do in this January transfer window. So, we're going to start with the transfer window. So, now, it's obviously the January transfer window, 1st of January. Happy New Year to everyone. And transfer window's open. Obviously, Rooney's came in. Now we're Ram. I'm very happy about that as a player coach. But I think we could sign a few more. Like, I've seen on, like, some internet. Like, on the internet. Um, Philip Benkovic from Leicester City. Apparently, we've been linked with him for, a, a, like, a loan deal or something. But uh, that would be a good shout. Like, put him in his natural position in that formation, that four... 2-3-1 formation. I think he could do good there and I think that formation could work out very well with him in that in his natural position. We have Cameron Dawson from Sheffield Wednesday, the goalkeeper. I've not personally seen him play, but apparently from information he is oh he is a good goalkeeper. Not like outstanding like Kieran Westwood, for example. But apparently he's a good goalkeeper. That could be a good signing. Um so next one, I have been zoning out about for quite a while now. Um, my mate told me um last day of school, from his dad, his dad told him that his mate said to hit his dad from inside information, like close information. Uh, we will be getting Joe Hart in January. Now. That. Does sound like a good shout to be honest. Joe Hart, obviously, he was an outstanding goalkeeper, but since his injury has gone down a bit, but he's still he's still quite a class keeper. Played for Burnley now, obviously, but if if it is real and we do sign him, I think we'll be doing good in the goalkeeper position. Put him in like first team number one, uh, replace Scott Carson from the number one position, and put like Cameron Dawson on the bench as like a number. Six, yeah, Keo's got number six or something like that, or like a number or like a number 20. No, Mason Bell is number 20. I, I'm losing my mind here. Number 18, I think it's three, so it could be a number 18 for Cameron Dawson. But I think if Joe Hart does come, that'll be a good shout. So, Koku also has some links, Dutch links to players from like the Dutch league and stuff. So them youngsters, Dutch Dutch youngsters, uh, class at football. Obviously, Florian Josephson isn't a youngster, but he was good at Brentford, and he signed here, and he uh, at Derby, and he's still good now. Uh, we signed him last season when Frank Lampard was in charge, and he, he did show his potential that season. But I don't think Cocky's played him because apparently I don't think he has shown potential in pre season or. A few of the games. Sorry about that. I think I've got a bit of a cold, to be honest. Runny knows. Um, so, I'm going to next do my league expectations for Derby for this half of the season and beyond. Obviously, we are sitting 17th in the league with 30 points. We're playing tomorrow against Barnsley. We're another crucial game. If we get another three points, that will be absolutely amazing for us. I'll be vlogging that match tomorrow. That will be up. Um, I'm going to show you my experience, my match day experience and everything. We also have some, like, like, it'll be good since we have some youngsters coming in for talks of Louis Sibley, top class player. I've seen him play a couple of times for the under 23s and under 18s. Um, he came on 70 minutes against Reading. He showed his great potential, like, he showed ignition in that, in that, um, match for the last half hour. Um, we then have Morgan Whitaker. We have Jason Knight, top class player as well. Uh, scored two goals against Charlton Athletic. First senior goal as well. First two senior goals, to be honest. So I'm, I'm going to say congratulations to him. And then we have Max Bird as well. Um, he's he's a good player as well. So I think them youngsters could be the future of Derby including the youngsters coming through the academy and the under-23s and stuff every now and then. Um, obviously, 
we aren't doing very well. We didn't do very well in this half, that half, uh, the last half of the season from August to December. But we did, we did pretty good. We, it was an all right. It was an okay start to the season. Obviously, we've only won one away game, which was the first game of the season. Huddersfield away two one. But I'm hoping there's more winning games to come in the away games next half, this half of the season. And I think beyond, since Rudy's on an 18-month contract and he is a player coach, I think we could get, if we get him like on more of a like different contract next year, I think we'll be in the clear to, if he was another player coach, I think he could like potentially push us to playoffs or automatic promotion with all the youngsters coming in and could potentially be a real game changer. But I kind of do have some hopes for Derby getting up from this bottom half of the league. Um, so I'm going to say we're going to finish 12th this season. A mid-table finish. I don't think we'll be pushing for like 7th, 6th spot for playoffs. Like 6th spot for playoffs, 7th spot or below. Like 7th to 10th, I don't think. 11th or 12th would be... All right, to be honest, for Koku's first season, uh, and if we if he does stay next season, I think he could push us to playoffs. So that's all I have to say for this video. Make sure you like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Um, make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I make a video. Um, and I'll I'll just see you guys next time. Yeah, see you later. Peace.